Welcome to the Millbrook Railroad, where we have no lack of things to do, and uh, today we're not lacking anything but wood pellets. So we're going to take the 71 out of the shed here, bump it into the 70 first. We're grab the 105 flat off the siding. We're going to go do a pellet run. Not much I can do about that one. We'll pick it up. So this happens sometimes. Um, it just tells me I need to fix the drainage. So uh, between here, where the rails are kind of even. You see that hump in the track right there? And then drops right back down. That 105 flat car is not quite flexible enough to handle this empty full it can do it fine but uh empty not so much um the uh the car twists or the car car doesn't twist actually and uh, lifts some of the wheels off of the ground um it's just some of the things you deal with with an all steel car if that were an all wood car i wouldn't have that problem but i probably wouldn't be able to haul as much with it so well compromises Let's put this thing back on the track. Onion. 
That's the nature of the compost pile. Animals come and eat from it. This is why we have so many ravens around. Ravens and crows are good to have around when you have chickens. Because they'll alert the chickens when there's a hawk or an eagle around. And we have a pair of nesting bald eagles not far from here. Just a mile or so away by road. About a half a mile by the way the crows and the eagles fly. So compost piles, they're ugly, but they're kind of necessary. And that cardboard, by the way, that is completely biodegradable. It will biodegrade once we start throwing grass clippings on it uh, in the spring. So another, uh, another little thing there. It's a little extra fiber to go into the, uh, to the compost, a little extra material, and uh, that'll make some nice dirt in probably, uh, probably a year or so, maybe less. Maybe six months. So anyway, back to the train. You're not here to look at compost. You're here to look at trains. So let's uh, on with the show. nicely. I love it when a plan comes together.
guess we're underway. Run over the trig and everything. Well, I realize I didn't give you any run buys on the way down, so I'll give you some run buys on the way back up.
Well, thanks for joining us on this run of the WP2 on the Millbrook Railroad. Uh, now, a little explanation of the uh, symbols of our trains. WP1 is the uh, wood pellet train. It's the heavy wood pellet train that we do, usually a ton at a time. And it goes from basically from the engine house down to the sugar house. And WP2 does the opposite, but uh, only about five bags, six bags at a time. So, because it's the one back up to the... Uh, up to the house. So thanks for watching today's video. Hope you did enjoy it. If you did, please uh, hit that thumbs up button and uh, share it with your friends. And uh, don't forget, if you want to join us on Patreon, you can always do that by going to patreon.com slash Millbrook Railroad. We've got a growing community over there. And also we've got a growing community on our Discord server. And second tier Patreon members get access to our Discord server. So I want to thank you for watching. Have yourself a great day. Enjoy some chickens. Well, thanks for joining us on this uh, over here. Well, thanks for joining. <laughs> Try it again.